Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I have a variety today. I have so an Etsy share. I have um, my shares of the things I got at the antique book uh, shop that's new in town and the antique mall. And then I want to see if we can just kind of look and maybe finish up our circus journals, the two circus journals. So first of all, let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Michelle, Lorette, Shelly, and Mindy. Thank you so much. You guys are all here every day and I so appreciate your your comments and just being my everyday crafty friends. So thank you. Okay, so this came in the mail. I had myself a little shop, as I do, and I, f I found a new shop. I needed to kind of beef up my um, my papers, my, my signature papers for journals. So I found this shop. It's called Cover to Cover Creations, Junk Journals and Supplies. So yeah, it's, it's a new, new to me shop anyway. So I wanted to show you. So these are some lovely papers that she's done with writing on them. I just, I think these are really cool. So very excited about those. Those were the ones that first caught my eye. And then she's got one here that's more like signs sort of thing. And then um, this is cardstock, is coffee dyed cards, or maybe it's tea dyed, I'm not sure. And then avocado dyed, and then um, just regular pages. So yeah, I just, I had to tell you about that shop because I really, I, you know, I was trying her out for the first time. I didn't know what the quality would be. The quality is very, very good. So I just wanted to, Little shout out to her cover to cover creations. I don't know that she watches my channel. She didn't put a note in or anything. So um, if you go over there, tell her I sent you. Tell her I sent you. Okay. So there was that. Then I wanted to show you. I finished off. You know we had done these little um, index card, little fun things. Um, let's see. I believe it was last Sunday. Anyway, I finished them off, so I thought I would show you. This one's just tied. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to use some um, paper clips. So I used some paper clips on them as well. Somebody else said, you should use paper clips. And I was like, ah, already did it. <laughs> I just haven't shown them. But I really like how the paper clipped ones turned out too. So now I need more. Now I need more uh, paper clips. But but yeah. So we got a pile of those done. So that was great. So that huge pile of this was inspired by Kathleen Maurer, and so all of those are done, ready to go in the use it pile. So. There's that, and then, okay, so let's do the uh, antique bookstore first. So my friend Lynn and I go into the, the bookstore, and we're thinking, oh, it's going to be super expensive. It's probably not going to be anything that we're going to want. Well, right as we went in the door, there's this big trunk of $2 books. And we were like, yay! So there's this one. Um, this is the name of... Oh, and he's online too. So again, if you should go over there and buy anything from him, please tell him that I sent you. I don't know that he'll remember me, but Barker Books and Vintage, it's called. And he does have like some pretty um, uh, antiques and things too in there. So it's pretty fun. But so I found this book. Um, I think it would, 
it would be a nice it would be a nice size it's like six by not quite nine but I think an eight and a half would fit in there it's just it would be tight but I love the edge of these pages so I don't know what I'm going to do with it but for two dollars I couldn't leave it behind <laughs> I did find Mike a book, too. It was a book on Oppenheimer, you know, the guy who, the scientist who made the, the bomb. So look at this one. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And it's it's kind of falling apart a little bit. So, so that's always good, too. I always feel better about that. But, but yeah, I'm going to use that that cover I think well then this was in there and how stinking cute are those and this one's just really totally falling apart um copyright 1918 so I think I might make make some digitals of these before anything else Look at that. How cute is that? I love that. She's having a tea party. Yeah, they're, it's just adorable. And like I say, it is, it is definitely falling apart. But I think it would make a super cute cover, too. Yeah, and this one is six by, it's a bit bigger, six by nine. It's almost perfect. So those were my those were my two dollar finds. And then he had these book plates too. And Lynn and I were gonna share them and then I forgot to give her any, so I have to do that next time I see her. But cute, right? So that was that was what we found at the um antique book place. Let's see, I'll put those there. Okay, and then at the at the antique mall, first of all, I found this. I could not leave that behind. It's so grungy and wonderful. Look at that. So I'm going to put it up on my shelves. I have some stuff in just coffee cups. And I think I'm going to just replace it and put it in here. And put this on my shelf. It's just so cute. Okay, so there was that. Um... And it was a really good price, so I couldn't resist. Okay, what else did I get? I got some other stuff. Okay, just hang on while I dig it out of the bag here. Okay. So, I found... I found these. They were sewing grab bags. Basically, they're um, Christmas fabric, and it looks like they're, there's plenty there to make a cover. So, I grabbed those, and then I found these cards. Look at these cards, you guys. Aren't those beautiful? They were a little more than I wanted to spend, but I couldn't leave them behind. They were just too pretty. See, there's the, there's the two um designs yeah so anyway found those and then lynn found and i ran over there and bought what she didn't some stamps there was some stamps hanging in one booth that was awesome so we grabbed those and then this we found at the very end so the gal that owns the place, look at this, vintage ephemera grab bag, and there was a clown in there. So I wanted to get him out as we look at the journals to finish him up. But how fun is that? So it's just all sorts of old stuff, photos and things. Yeah, so we'll take a look at that here in a second. Then I found this. This is... It's an, one of those um, board books for little kids. And I thought, I don't know, it just intrigued me. 
Like I was thinking you could put pockets in there and put fun things. I just thought this would be really fun for a little kid to put some interactive things in there, you know? Bless the toys whose shapes I know. It's just a darling book. The shoes that take me to and fro. It's just so cute. Bless my little painted chair. I mean, it's just adorable. And it's got this big space here. So I was just, I don't know. I'm going to ponder on this, but uh, again, it was really reasonably priced. So I thought, let's, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so that's my haul. Let's open this and see what we've got that could work in the circus journal. And then we're going we're gonna to finish that up. So I have no idea what all is in here, but let's see. Is it going to come out? <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. There's a slide. There's a slide. There's this. This is a fun old matchbook cover, as is this. But this is, Lynn saw this, and she's like, Gail, for your, oh, there's an old stamp. Aunt Thelma and Uncle Ed to Dear Walter. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, though? So fun. Okay, what else? Um, there's cards in here. Here's another picture. An old postcard. L.L. Bean. <laughs> another slide. There's a, one of the old Christmas tags. Oh, look at this old letter. How fun is that? It's, um, it's quotes. Some from the Bible, some not. Huh. That's really cool. That's, that feels like such a treasure. And let's see. Oh, some original sort of Denison labels, stamps, music. I just want to make sure there's nothing else um, circusy in here. Some uh, pages from old books and stuff. There's another stamp. Oh, isn't that cute? Stamps and ooh, those would be fun to cut out the big stamps. Another photo, an old funny, another little card, an old envelope. Yeah, I'll be going back to see if she has more of those. Um, of these. These are really fun. Yeah. So, there you go. There's that. There was just the one clown, but that's okay. So, let's see if I can set these aside somewhere. The floor is probably where they're going. Okay. Journals. So, we have these. I haven't gotten them sewn around I might just go ahead and do that really quick if I can get my sewing machine over here. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I'm still recovering from the um, carpet cleaning. Everything was just put aside, put up, and really is pretty much in disarray is <laughs> what I'm telling you. Okay, I've got black thread in here, which should work well. Okay, so I just want to zip around all of these and get them ready so we can decorate them. How's that for our, for our journals? Just take a second.
do kind of like to sew them before I decorate them because then I can kind of stay within the non-sewn area. And so, yeah, we'll just zip around these real quick. we were traveling and so I just didn't get a chance to to get these sewn up but this will be good so thank you for bearing with me that one I don't need to do that's for another journal these two I think I might just snip the corners of these prior to sewing I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do when I made them so Okay, maybe the same on this one. Okay, just zip around these two and we'll be done. If my sewing's too bad, then I just go around one more time and it looks like you did it on purpose. <laughs> but I'm trying to hurry and I'm making a mess. Oh my gosh, Gail. Okay, well, we'll just put something over that. Haste makes waste. Oh, gosh, really? It really does. went off it. Okay, we're going around again. Come on, go. looks intentional. <laughs> Only you know that it isn't. Okay, that's it for the sewing. Okay, things are back where they belong. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to do maybe a little bit of a little bit of decorating to these. Okay. So these are going to, these two are going to go in the sacks. Um, but what do I want? Oh, when I found this, my friend Darcy, I put that in a little package for me. So I've got that to put in and we haven't used these yet or the tickets. So, um, yeah, we just have a little 
some pockets to fill. So one of these is going to go in here. I'm just deciding if I really, how much I want to decorate those. I don't know. Um, let's just, let's just see what we have. I could put that down there. I think that's what I'll do there. This is a leftover piece from Joey Cardmaker's Circus Circus Digital. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna pop that right there. And what else do I have? Um, don't really have any larger sort of decorations. Unless I were to out. Oh, I do have still these guys. These clowns. I don't know. They're kind of big, though. Yeah, they're too big. Okay. might fussy cut around that just loosely I think I just might put him at the bottom there. Okay. Well, that'll be good. Let's just put you right there, Emmett. We're going to cover up the sheep. Okay, I'm going to call these two done. This one, I'm wondering about just popping that in the middle. Yep, that's what we're going to do with that. Cool. Pop that right there. Okay, so now I just have this tag, and I did have on oh, one second. I do have this that I could just pop there, and I think that's what I'll do there. I also have some tabs. I might put a tab on each of these as well. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Again, left over from Joey's kit. Could put him there. And him there. Okay. It's coming together. Sometimes it just takes me a minute. There's a blue stars that could be nice on this one. Yep. And then I might do the stripes on that one. Okay. We're just going to pop these things on here and we'll be done with that. And I think we'll be close to being done done with these journals. You have another project we can work on if we finish before our time is up. 
okay it's gonna be one tall tag but I don't care if the tabs stick out the top of the journal I don't I don't mind it looking like that okay Let's put that on here. Scooch over. Ooh. Okay. Got it. All right. So, move this and get our journals over here. Let's see where we're at. So, our little flip. Oh, this needs something in it. That's going to go in there. And then put this one in here. Okay. And then I think it's the see, we need something in there. that in there. It's also got room in the back. Okay, like that. I've got um, Amy's tags that I need to um, cut out that match those pockets. So I'm super excited about that. I've got something there. And that's fine. So we need something in here. Let's put let's put some tickets in there. Okay. use something tucked in there. Um, I think there what we might do is put one of Joey's journal cards. I've got a few of those left. Ooh, this girl goes nicely. And again with these you can um, you can glue them together. Oops. You can glue them together and there'll be a journal card like that, but I did them on cardstock, so I kind of feel like I might as well leave those insides to be journaled on. Okay, it's going to take me a second. I got a brand new sponge. Finally, I remembered to do it. it takes a minute to get some ink on it, doesn't it? So I, while I'm inking, let me tell you, I've had a lot of requests to hold these journals for certain people, and I just kind of wanted to remind you that several years ago, I stopped doing custom orders, and I stopped having people, um, that's a pocket too, having people speak for journals, and um, I... The reason I did that is it stressed me out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that fits perfect. Yes. Okay. So we still haven't done this either. So let's make that a pocket. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, I, don't, I don't do that anymore. I just list them on my Etsy if you... Uh, favorite my Etsy shop, Cinnamon Tea, and turn on notifications. You'll know when I put a journal in my shop. Oh, look, that's going to fit just perfect. Ooh, I really like that. But I like that, too. She goes kind of, I, yeah. <laughs> that's going to happen. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, 
And then I just kind of let the universe decide who gets the journals. Um, the cus My custom order list, when I stopped doing it, was about, it was over 20 journals long. And then, um, and then also, well, here's the thing. We travel so much and I've always felt like, you know, if I've promised someone a journal and something happens to me on the road, then it's going to be a mess for my children to clean up and or the person, you know, is not going to get the journal that they wanted, whatever. So it just was too stressful. That's what I'm getting at. So I don't do custom orders anymore and I don't have people speak for journals. I just put them on my Etsy and then someone will get it. <laughs> Someone will get it. So, anyway, uh, thank you for your understanding about that. Oh, look, I've got these two little things. Oh, let's put this in there. Yes. Okay, good. Um, I still need something here. Let me just put a marker in there. So I know. I just want to kind of continue on. This needs could use something colorful, couldn't it? Let's see, what do I have? Not anything in here. I'm just going to kind of look in my box, guys, for a second. You know, I think I'm going to put one of these napkins in and then people could do whatever they wanted with the napkin. Let's put a full napkin in there. I think it will fit. What, are you going to fit? Okay, I just wanted more color there. And then I need something in there. So maybe we'll, what I do with Joey's stuff. Oh, here it is. Maybe I'll put another journal card in there. Ooh, that bear is cool. Let's do it. Yeah, so anyway, I, th I think it's more, it's newer people that, you know, that ask for the journals and I I under I understand you know when you see one that you'd like to have you just but um yeah just keep an eye on my Etsy and watch your notifications okay let's put you in there Mr. Bear oh yeah I like that that came together Okay, we've already got our little index card there. Okay, so I can just put this is and that's in the pocket. So really, we just, in this one, we have one more thing, which is here. Um, that in there okay so this one's done except for these pockets maybe I'll sign on this piece of paper right here Don't need. okay Okay, donezo, except for the pockets in the front and back. And so this one is the one that has, one second here, um, where is it? There 
it is. It's so buried. It has this to tie around it. Yay! So, there we go. Let's see if I go this way. I'm trying to make a pretty make a pretty bow anyway I'm gonna take it apart to put things in those other in those other pockets but yay that one's done okie dokie let's take a look at this guy this was the one that the person wanted I'm so sorry I I just can't I just can't do that okay that one's gonna stick out too far how about this clown There you go. Oh, is this, which one was the elephant one that I was kind of calling the elephant journal? It's the one with, this is the elephant journal. So it doesn't matter because we're all done, but here's, here's the elephant for this. Okay. That one's good. Okay, I get, oh, right. I'm gonna also add some more of these pockets in because um, I just need to get them all, all cut. Okay, so I gotta do that before these are done. Remember that, Gail, remember that. Yep, there's another one. Okay, here's a big pocket for this. And I think in here, I might do like a folded piece of, um, let's just do this. This is a note from the ringmaster. <laughs> we're gonna that's what we're gonna say it is so if I yes I just want to put extra journaling space in here is my thought so just pop this in there kind of doesn't want to come apart because it was uh, embossed there we go, so we'll put that there. There we go, there's that. Here's our spot for our tag. Yep. And this needs something on the side. This one's a side one, so we'll think about that. Here's the spot for this. Then we have this guy again. Um, what did I put in? Oh, I put a little bit of the of the paper. What else do I have over here? Let me just grab this and look and see what we might have. This is a super cute page, isn't it? You know, this has two sides and it's all about clowns. I'm actually going to put that back here in the side of this. Just a little piece of old book and just a bit of ephemera there. You could put coffee dyed paper on it if you wanted to, to write on, but it's just kind of a... Fun little something hidden there. Let's see. I put I put one of these in here. So let's do that on this one too. Okay. In there as far as it can. There. 
Okay, and then here, put that guy. What else do we have? We have some, oh, we have an elephant. We have an elephant. Old maid elephant. Let's put you in there instead. Actually, in addition to, because I like the color of that. Okay. Oh, we need something big for in there. Let's see. These do not belong in there. Um, I mean, these are so great. But let's see what else there. Oh, yes, these. Let's put several of these in there. Hopefully they'll fit. Oh, not quite. We're going to have to fold it a little. I think I'll fold this end a bit. And that's some great extra journaling spot. And the colors are perfect. Okay, that's that. Oh yeah, we got that done. Wow, I think we're about there. So I might put this one. I want to use it. Maybe I'll put that there. So I just need to do the Amy at Crafty Cat's pockets. And we'll be set. So I think I'm just going to go right down here to sign. Let's see. So people, the circus is leaving town. Well, I had a goal of fitting everything into my project box, and I think I might, I think I might be able to do it. You know what we don't have in here is tickets, though. So I want to find a spot for those. I mean, that would have been a good spot, but... Maybe here. Yeah, I just think some of those in each one is nice. Okay. Yeah, so we're done with that one too, except for the Amy pockets and the other one the pockets here but I may just leave those because I don't know about you but when I journal I have things I want to stick in how are we doing time wise you know what we have a little time so if you don't mind I'm going to do a little clean up here and we're going to see if indeed I can fit everything in my little box. Let's just do it. Let's see. Oh goodness, I still, you know, like I I still have a lot of stuff, but I don't know that those are my last service journals. I don't think so. Gosh, this elephant would have been good on that one somewhere too. Do you think we need to find a spot for him? I think we do, just because this is the elephant journal. Viola that ran around Butte, Montana. You guys were telling me, oh, I guess I put two of those in there. You guys were telling me that it was in the news in the UK and it was in the news in um, North, uh, South Korea, South Korea, I think. I was just like, oh my goodness. 
Okay. All of my... All of those have something. I don't really want to use up writing space if I don't have to, but I don't see any spots for it. I could put it under under here. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun little surprise underneath the fabric flip. Let's do that. I thought I was done with this, and I'm not. <laughs> okay. Is that going to fit on there? I think so. I'll cut off anything that doesn't fit. How's that? I mean, really, we just got to do it. Oh, this takes out. Okay. Just gonna put you right there, little elephant. <laughs> okay, he's under there. Now I have a little elephant that's in a wagon too. What if we, let's look at the other side of the popcorn sack and see what it's like. Where is it? Here. Let's just put that right there. All I have left is a lion, but I think, yeah, that side's all done, but we still have that. So, okay, <laughs> now I'm done. Famous last words. Okay, so let's get our bin over here. And it's, it's a ginormous mess because I've just been throwing things in it. So this is called After Journal Pickup. <laughs> So I still had all of these and I forgot about them, could not find them, whatever. And so there, I do have quite a few cutoffs of scrapbook paper, which is good. Because um, like I say, I do not know that this is my last circus journal. I had way too much fun with it for it to be the last one. Okay, all the scraps. These scraps. This is a scrap. And then these are left from Joey's kit. Put that there. Scrap. That's going to go in my scrap pile because it's not circus necessarily. I, I want to keep that. So, okay, so that's all the scrapbook paper, I think, together. Okay, here's the leftover fabric. Okay, and books. Okay, with the other books and pages and such, I'm going to put right there. Okay, I had another napkin here. Have any more napkins? This napkin. That napkin is cute. Didn't use that at all. Didn't use this. So I still have a little bit of a little bit of fodder, if you will. Okay. Are we gonna make it? I don't know. Okay, here's another scrap. I'm going to put my decals at the bottom. Scrap there. Okay. Fabric here. And. Okay, so. What do we have? We Oh, these big. These big stickers, I'll put those there. Got one more bag. I didn't even know what was in here. Oh, it's these things cut up. I see. 
So let's let's put these with that in there. Okay. Oh, these are book pages, so I'm gonna put those down with the books. I think it's gonna be close. <laughs> Ephemera. I'm going to put that on top of the fabric. Okay. These are the circus animals. I have emptied one of these. Um, oh, here's another book. These are my big clown faces. Stencils, stickers. Oh, here's another napkin. I'm gonna put those under the scrapbook paper. Okay. All ephemera and such. Beads, stickers. Have a stamp. It's a circus out there. Did not use that. These are little little pictures. I'm gonna put that with the ephemera. Washi. Second bin done. Okay, then I have all the trim and such. So put that here. orange can go in my regular um, my regular lace I think same with this black okay I have these ribbons let's just put those along the edge there and all the trims I'll just go right there you guys we are gonna make it so, my little origamis are going to go there. These are leftover Joey pieces. And those are going to go there. Oops, here's my leftover Joey paper. Maybe I'll... See, I guess I'll just put it on top. I can't get it down below where the paper is. So there you go. We did it. It's a full container, but it's all the circus is contained. <laughs> there we go, you guys. I don't know if we're done time-wise, but I'm done. I'm done done-wise. So two more circus journals ready to go. Thanks so much for being on the circus journey with me for this Really, it's been kind of like the past month or so, but I've I've had a ton of fun with it, and I'm excited to get on to something else now. So have a grateful day, everybody. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.